Hello and greetings. This is Brother Minister. Again, that's right. There's nothing wrong with your video. And there is nothing wrong with your computer. What you are seeing and hearing is for real. Don't worry about what it looks like. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. The topic for this video, who are you going to believe? That's right. Who are you? That's right. You on the other end of the computer. Who are you going to believe? Man or God? Let me begin by saying this. Earlier today, one of my best friends asked me, he said, why are your videos so hardcore? And I had to think about that. Hardcore? It's not hardcore. These are basic fundamentals of the Word of God. Uh, I guess it's from an apologetics uh, perspective, a point of view, I'm not sure, but you know what? There are so many people across this planet. The world itself lies in the bosom of the wicked one, and deception is pandemic. Okay? There are so many false cults, cults uh, so many false religions, there are even false Christs. There are, do you know that there are actually men on this planet right now who have convinced other human beings that they are Christ? They have convinced people to give up their lives, to move, to come, even some. There's one guy by the name of Ben Ami of the black Hebrew Israelites who have settled into Israel okay they follow him this man claims that he is the Christ and they believe him okay he has five wives there's another guy I'll tell you about this man I have some personal experience with some people of the unification church okay let's be I don't want to before I don't want to get too far off let's stay I'll come back to that Lord willing let's stick with the text of this I don't want to do like a lot of these preachers it hits hit a verse here, jump out, make a whole sermon, go hit this, hit that, come back. Let's elucidate it by its full context. Okay? First John chapter five. Again, whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that loveth him, that begot, love him also that is begotten of him. If you love the Lord, you love God the Father, you love the children of God and you love the Son of God which is the Lord Jesus Christ make no mistake about it like I say I better say Yahshua HaMashiach because there's a small sect or a large sect of some of you out there looking at these videos if a person doesn't say Yahshua HaMashiach you won't even receive it but a pity we know what his name is okay but that's beside the point Number two, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. The Lord Jesus Christ said in John 14, 15, say, if you love me, if is a prerequisite, it meets a condition. You have to meet the conditions. If is a very small word in the Bible. It's only two letters, I, F, but it's a very big, grandiose word. Okay, because you have to meet the conditions. But he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. A few verses down further, he said, he that love me not, he let love me not, he doesn't keep he doesn't keep my commandments. Okay? But anyway, number three, for this is the love of God to keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. They're not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Okay? Our faith. For whatsoever is born of God. If you're born of God, you don't have the, the, the uh, uh, urges to go out and go to the parties and go to the club and get your groove on, your swirl on, get your drink on, get your smoke on, get your sex on if you're not married. Okay, because you overcome the world. Let the world do their thing and let the children of God do his thing, the Lord thing, his his business. Okay? 
the world will be the world. But whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. But he that believeth in Jesus Christ, he that believeth on the Son of God, that's who who's overcome the world. A long time ago, they should sing that song. I never did like the song. I don't know why I never did like it. But they say, we shall overcome. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Brothers and sisters across the world, across the YouTube world, we have overcome the world if you are in Christ. Make no mistake about it. I just hate that so many people are getting caught up in all these false religions. Oh my goodness, it is so pandemic. It is unbelievable. There's one guy on YouTube who has contacted me. Uh, actually, I contacted him first because he. Was, I just had to respond to this nonsense, this wickedness. I had to respond to it. Uh, but anyway... He said that his God doesn't have a son. He said that he's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ is just some prophet. You know what? That's false. And there's so much false teaching. It's just ridiculous. But who are you going to believe? You. Who are you going to believe? Man or God? Number six, this is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that bears witness because the Spirit is truth. This is he that came by water and blood. Now, this is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. He was baptized, okay? He had, he, that's, and that's one thing that as believers, that's another, I'll get to that Lord willing in another video. That's one thing that we're commanded to do. It's not a law. It is just something that we do by faith and obedience to the Lord. But he was baptized. And also it speaks of his crucifixion. Out came the blood. Okay. He was pierced. He shed his blood for our sins. Um, and that's what that verse is, is uh, referring to primarily. Okay. Number seven. is very vital and key to our faith. Okay, for there are three. Let me see. I know I speak a little Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Three. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Okay. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Let's stick with what the Word of God says. Who are you going to believe? Are you going to believe? Listen to me. There are some of you uh, who may be in another faith, uh, especially the Jehovah's Witnesses, and uh, a lot of people do not believe in the Holy Ghost, or you don't, you don't believe in the Trinity of the Word of God. Don't get your de denomination's unauthorized version of the Bible. <laughs> get the Word of God. Okay? There are three that beareth record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in the earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. I read the false Jehovah's Witness. Uh, I read y'all's Bible, y'all say right there on that on the verse number seven, they said these three are in unison. The Bible says that they are one. Okay, the Father, the Word, which is synonymous to the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. You know what? Let's get ready to start rolling right now because I'm getting ready to tell you what God said. Come to the next video. Whew. Who do you believe? You. Who are you going to believe? Come to the next video. Oh, I got something to tell you about the Word of God. Brother Minister, peace. Come on to the next video. Press the button. Press it. Hurry.